welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Cleveland Guardians going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Shambi on play-by-play. -play. Chris Singleton providing the color. And a lot riding on this one as these teams meet for game two, Chris. And the series started out like you might expect. The home side taking care of business in game one. But this game today is going to reveal a lot about what this series will become. Will it be a battle for six or seven games? Or will it be a walkover? Those are the questions that we start getting more clarity on after game two. I have a feeling it's going to be a good one, Chris. This should be fun. First pitch coming your way next. First pitch moments away. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Max Free. Very dominant his last time out, picked up the win, only allowed one run. These guys would love to see him back on his game in this one. Okay, all set to go. So in now for Cleveland, Miles Straw. Leading off tonight for Cleveland, the center field, Miles Straw. The wind of the pitch. And fouled off. First pitch, 7 06. And the pitch. And it's one and one. But when you come off a tough one run loss in the postseason, you'll be looking back at the opportunities that you missed in the previous game and make sure that you don't miss them in this one. Swing and a miss. One and, two. one and two. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because right, exactly. if they get on, the just the distraction that they create with all yeah. that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus oh, from the next that's hitter. And that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence and it's a multi-run home run. Ahmed Rosario at the plate now. Looks at one down below the zone. Next offering is in the dirt. No, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. Next offering is downstairs. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. No score just getting started. Top of the first. And a four-pitch walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, boo. The last one wasn't even close. Here's Jose Ramirez. In there, and it's 0-1. Runner, runner, runner. Runner on the goal. Pitch inside. Safe at second, and that was not close. Well, in the postseason, I'd say we see more teams playing for one run, trying to apply some pressure, and that's exactly the case right here. Speed on the bases, put him in motion, and it worked out. Now time to execute in the batter's box. Stays alive. On the ground to third. Base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Bobby Bradley takes the ball here as he stands in now. Next one misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. You leave something out over the plate. It's going to bring in some runs. Go, and the next pitch points. is three way ball. outside. Bradley waits. Hey. And he pumps it a strike. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strike out. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. 
Jazz Chisholm yeah. now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two on, two outs. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Grabs it on the run. And that's the inning. Guardians strand a couple. And now the Braves will get their first crack at it. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the first. And on the hill in this one, Aaron Savali. He goes deep in the ball game, so the bullpen, who's been a little overused lately, they might get a rest if he does what he normally does today. Welcome back. Top of the second. Now it's Oscar Mercado. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. When you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. First offering misses badly for ball one. Foul ball there. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. This one smacked out to left center. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. The throw into second. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Cal Raleigh stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Next offering misses, and one and one. Our umpire for this one, Freddie Ferguson. A consistent umpire by all accounts. Yeah, I think the book on him is that he's not necessarily by the book with his strike zone. But once you figure out where he's calling strikes, you can pretty much count on him to stay with that throughout the game. Got the pitch that he wanted. Just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle, not where he needed it to be. Andres Jimenez watches that one for a strike. Standing in here with one down. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Second inning here. No score. Next pitch downstairs. And the count one and two. And down on strikes he goes. Two down. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with a go-ahead run in scoring position. Aaron Savali takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Swing at a slow roller. Gets it to first. Third out. One left for the Guardians. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here in Atlanta, out of the third inning. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Miles Straw. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And for a strike, and that is strike one. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game, but ultimately, you either have it or you don't. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. On the run, throw to first. One up, one down. So digging in, Ahmed Rosario. He reached out a walk his first time. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals but he's a guy when you watch him play you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield one down base is empty Aye. 
I got a ball, one strike. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That's down. One hops off the wall. And into second with one away. That's a double. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. The next oh, offering misses. One and one. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of one Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. One, two now. In the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Top of the third, no score. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Duval settles under and makes the catch. That's out number two. And now it's Bobby Bradley. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. That one missing oh, that inside. Ah. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Nope. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. The pitch. Three and two. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Goes to third, in there. And now they've got runners at the corners with two outs. And up next for Cleveland, Jazz Chisholm. 0 for 1 with a fly. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. This is inside. And yeah, the count even one and one. Rosario, the runner at third. Bradley at first, two out of the inning. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and that is that. At the play, Max Freed. Batting done. The pitcher, Max Free. And a ground ball to first. Slides, but he can't come up with it. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great field. job there Number stepping 30. up to the challenge. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. And that'll load the bases. Well, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Ted Miller, next up for the Braves. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Both runners tagging from second and third. Throw is offline, and he scores. And it's 1-0. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag, the tag, takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it. But a really good job of getting that run in from third. Over to first, and he's safe. That one hit to right. Mercado under it. Brings it in for the third out. We head to the fourth inning now in game two. It's the Braves one and the Guardians nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping up for the Guardians, Oscar Mercado. Right we talk about guys with good speed, yeah, and on, definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside, 
for just a second, Chris. It's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Tucker makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. But he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases. Oh, and a great stop. Gathers and throws, and he gets him. Nicely done. Now that Andre Jimenez. Two outs, base is empty. So in now for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes so many great plays. On the ground to short. Swanson picks it up and the oh. inning is over. Guardians go down one, two, three. They're down one nothing. And welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Into the box now is the Guardians pitcher, Aaron Savali. The pitcher. The big lefty Aaron. turns, kicks, deals. And there's a strike. A wind in the pitch. And a foul ball. Oh, and two now. Out towards left center. Acuna on the move as he glides back. Brings it in. One down. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every bat. Strong. Batting with one down, takes a strike. A one down. And he grounds one to the right side. And that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Rosario, the next to hit, takes ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Now Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And a foul ball. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Now the tag at third, and they got him. Well, you want to see guys aggressive out there on the base paths, but you also want to see them smart as well in making their decisions. And right there, you couldn't really tell how far away that ball was. So if that's the case, you got to shut it down. He gets caught stealing there, takes himself out of scoring position. Slice the other way and foul. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Rosario stands at second with two gone. That one ran inside, almost got him. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. You could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch. But... Three. And he's got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Braves one, and the guard. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the pitcher, Max Freed. Leading up for the Braves. The pitcher. The wind of the pitch. Max. 
three. That one pulled foul. Left hand batter waits. That one ripped. Get up, ball. Get up. Gone. The Rockets one to right, and they boost their lead. It's two nothing. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Back here at the ballpark, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton, and leading off, Bobby Bradley. The first baseman, number 44, Bobby Bradley. And a pitch. Aye. In for a strike. Strike one. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. Whoa, Next one off the plate inside. And now it's even one and one. She misses to even the count. Two and two. In the air, out towards right center. Tucker in position. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. The batter number two, second baseman, Jazz. So up next, Jazz Chisholm. And first offering is fouled off. And that one wrapped foul. Hey, let's go right here. Got him looking. Now two away. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking right in the 0 2 count Oscar just to pour it back. Mercado. And up next for Cleveland, Oscar Mercado. And he swings oh, and misses count. at the initial offering. Two outs. And that one ripped to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That is the inning. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Braves two and the Guardians nothing. Back at Truist Park, we go to the top of the seventh. And the batter now, Cal Raleigh. The catcher, Cal. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty. Whoa, that's down. Let's go right here. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. And a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. You let the ball Going travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. Here's Andres Jimenez. 
Oh, Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Pull it up on the Kicks and fire. Right There's a strike. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. And he beats it. He's safe. One of the first real jams of the game for him, Boo. Back-to-back singles to start the inning. And he's had a real solid outing. But he needs to lock this situation down if he wants it to stay that way. Here's the pitcher, Aaron Savali. Hey, we got nobody. And that bunted towards third. Riley over to second, not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Next to hit, Miles Straw. And first offering is fouled off. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Feed to second, that's one. On the first, double play, and that's the inning. Poetry in motion there. So now here's the pitcher, Max Freed. The pitcher, number 54, Max Freed. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. Some guy and here it comes. Swung on, belted. Back there makes the catch up against the wall. Man, Boog, I love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that play, and it's a lot easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch. Now this down the right field line, fair ball, should be extra bases. The throw to second, not in time, he's got a double. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone. He was clearly ready to jump all over it. Here comes the manager out of the Braves dugout, and he will make a move to the pen. Colin McHugh taking over on the mound, trying to protect this lead. Now it's Jose Ramirez. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, with both starters out of the game, this quickly becomes a bullpen game, and this is something we see oh, more and more man. in the game today, especially in the postseason. Next offering is fouled back. Runner leads away at second. Now this is in the air down the line. Duvall moving under this one. Calls it in, and there's one away. And here's the first baseman, Bobby Bradley. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. There's a strike. Well, that's really the money spot, down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Runner at second here, one gone. Swing and a bouncer. Ryan picks it up. Throws across oh, the diamond. Down. Now two out. The batter number two. Second base. Yeah. Stepping up for the Guardians. Jazz Chisholm. First nope. offering way inside, almost got him. The tying run at the plate. Line drive, can't get there, base hit. The run scores from second, and now they trail by one. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. Mercado in the box now. Take strike one. 
Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving. The walk or just a base hit. But you got to... Now that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. Back now, new please. pitcher on the mound as we roll yeah, into the bottom of the eighth. Back now as it'll be a pinch hitter to lead off. Josh Naylor. He comes to the plate in a huge spot in this one. Kenley Jansen into the game, and he'll work on holding this lead. The pitch. And a swing and a miss there. The old one. And there's a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. That one pushed to the left and foul. And he deals. Got him looking. Now one away. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the guys that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Bounce to the right side. Base hit into the outfield. And that puts the tying run on base. Just a huge at bat right there. He kind of the rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough turn. behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Number 73, Ricky Palacios. Jansen with a move to first. Jimenez back easily. One's in there, 0 and 1. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay count. dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Seals, Here's Seals. the pitch. Run around the goal. Eight, Strike in there. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Well, it seems like 90 feet is such a big deal in a tight one run game like this one. Maybe it's a little bit risky, but they felt good about it and it paid off. Let's see if they can turn this into a big run. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Calls it in after a long run. Two down. So in now for Cleveland, Miles Straw. In there for strike one. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. Down to their final strike. Got it! And that ends the ball game. The tying run left stranded at second. Great pitchers doing in this one. You get to a certain point where... Each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. Not a ton of offense to chat about as we look at the final numbers, but this was a good one. Yeah, it was a low-scoring game, Boog, but sometimes those can be the best, especially this time of year. And your final score here today, 2-1. Kenley Jansen picking up the save. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.
The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Atlanta Braves, two runs on three hits, no errors. They left eight men on base.